Up for sale now Vehicle Max, we have a 2006 BMW 750LI, black on black, fully loaded with uh, factory navigation, moonroof, automatic closing doors, uh, rear and side shades, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website VehicleMax.net. Take a quick look inside. It's got also massage seats and uh, heated seats and cool seats. And this is the one that's got the version that's got the um, the display uh, back here for the rear row passenger as the uh, navigation display. And also this is a DVD player. And as you can see, just like in the front, you can control everything from back here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, what I meant by auto closing doors is this. Let me try the driver's door one more time, get a little closer so you can see it. There you go. Okay, um, if you're watching this video in Auto Trader, let me tell you it will cut off for three minutes. If you want to see the full 15 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself right at our homepage, VehicleMax.net. There's a clickable logo there for the Better Business Bureau. Or you can go to a BBB.org and just punch in VehicleMax.net. Okay, let's go ahead and get inside of the car and uh, show you the interior options. I left the car running simply so I could show you that... Um, the navigation in the back has 43,000 miles. Take a look at that just now and let me uh, lower the fan here so you can hear me talk. All right. Fan here. And by the way, you got individual fans. For example, I don't know if you notice, here, here's a left side fan, the driver's side fan. That one's uh, low speed and this one's still going at high. So. You can uh, have uh, two different levels of comfort as far as fan speed and also temperature. As you can see, here's the temperature for the driver's side, here's one for the passenger side. Let's go ahead and uh, move this wheel around and let's get to the uh, navigation. Okay, there's our navigation by the way, uh, which is also displayed in the back. Let's go ahead and open the moonroof. It's a one-touch moonroof, meaning you don't have to hold it. And I'll close it so you can see it one more time. It is a glass moonroof, and as you can see, it is tinted, but it has this uh, hard cover here. If you want to block out the sun completely, just slide it forward manually, and uh, this is going to block out the um, the sun completely. It's not going to be able to get inside. Let's for now. Let's go ahead and leave it open so we can get a little better lighting in for the video. Uh, this car has so many options that forgive me if I miss some. I'm going to try to get everything I can. Uh, but it's got a, a number of options. Okay, down here, and I probably should have done this before I sat down, but uh, this one down here is your massage seats. Okay, and uh, that, I can't show it to you, but I can already feel it. Uh, this is for your um, cool seats, and as you can see, it's got three different levels of speeds. There's high, medium, low, and of course off. And here's your heat it. As you can see, it's an orange color, so that's high, medium, low, and off. For now, we're going to leave the heat, the cool seats. It's still kind of warm. Okay, memory for up to two drivers. You can feel the massage seat already. It feels really good. And here's how you control the seat back, forth, up, down, just by uh, twisting the wheel or pressing it and moving it. I don't know if you can see the seat's moving, actually. Uh, and also, same thing, up and down. Okay, um... <clears throat> And with this wheel, you can control everything. By the way, this car has Bluetooth. And um, once you uh, integrate your phone into the vehicle, you can also uh, uh, dial out by using this pad here, OK? You don't have to use the pad on the phone. You can use this pad right here. So in case you get your phone in your pocket or in your briefcase, you don't ever have to reach in there. The moment you come into the car, it'll recognize the phone. It'll activate it, and vice versa when you exit the vehicle. OK. Um, Let's go, uh, what else can I tell you? Can't, okay, all the windows are one touch, meaning uh, like this. You don't have to hold the switch for up or down on all four windows. Go ahead and uh, leave it down for now. 
Uh, of course, we got remote stereo controls right here in the steering wheel. Okay, and you could raise and lower the volume here. Let's go ahead and put some music on in the wheel here. And let me get closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to click press menu. And uh, let's put here entertainment. Click down on the knob. And let's put, let, well, let's see if we get a satellite stereo by any chance right now. Okay. Let's see if it's working. Let's put 70s. And let's raise the volume here. Uh, I think right now we don't have, um, it does, it's equipped with a satellite stereo, but it's not uh, active right now. So let's go back. Okay, and let's go to um, FM. Let's click that. And let the savings begin. Let's lower that. Let's see if we can find a station with music on. Stop on that one. Let's see if we can find something better, my goodness. Oh, whatever. I'll, let me just put the volume up. That should be good enough for now. Okay, so you get the idea how that works. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put the navigation screen back here and click on menu. And now you push this knob this way. See how it says entertainment in the bottom there? So you tap it down. Actually, that was a mistake. Let me put it back on many. I want it. We want to go to the right where it says navigation over there. See? I move the knob right. And we get the navigation screen back up. Okay, um, uh, believe these are for tap shifting here. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you here? Oh, let's work, let's, uh, let's work the uh, rear shade. Yes, let's do that. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around now and keep an eye on the shade back there. Okay, close, that's uh, the block of the sun and then you press it again and you close it off. Uh, let's go ahead and operate the shades on the rear doors. By the way, we got a ton of airbags in this car. We got airbags here on the driver door. There's even airbags here for your, for your feet and your knees. There's curtain set airbags here. Uh, where are they? They're up here somewhere. When I get back in the car, I'll show you. Let's do the rear window shades. You can see they work. This car is really cool. I mean, it's got every feature you can put on it. Now we're going to do this one now. And let's go ahead and open them up. All right, uh, we got AC vents all over the place on the sides here. And uh, let's go ahead and put this navigation menu back up here so you can see that you can see it from the back here. Push the knob over and we get the navigation screen back here. So this is some kind of a, like, um, I don't know if you would call it executive. I'm sure they got a name for it. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty much like uh, you're, in, you're in control back here even though you're one of the rear row passengers, by the way, this is a uh, five-seater. You can put two in the front and three in the back if you lift that center section up, okay? It's even got a, you can even heat the center console there. You got heated seats on the, uh, uh, for the rear, okay? Um, let's move on here to the front. You sit back in, plug those airbags for you. Uh, there we go. Here, these are the curtain side airbags that go all, all along the side of the car. Uh, leather up steering wheel, of course, and I'll pan around it so you can see it's in perfect shape with no tears, no cuts, no discoloration, no burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in this car. Not on the steering wheel, not on the dashboard, not on the door panels, seats, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was a non smoker. Okay, we got a number of pockets up here. This is your ashtray. This is just a storage. More storage. Uh, that's for your um, glove box there. It's got even a flashlight in here. 
Uh, this is a thing for your CD changer up here. This is the bottom here, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, forgive me because I'm not 100% sure on every op option in this car. You can lock the center console, by the way. Take your key in there and lock so nobody has access in here. And here you got, um, uh, here's your, uh, here's, here's for your CDs, okay? And here's your owner's manual. Um, uh, you can, uh, uh, disable or enable the, uh, the trunk. Uh, you know, I'm sure you, uh, you're familiar with the tap shifting for the, for net, for the, uh, transmission. It's not like a regular shifter. It's all electrical. You pull it toward you and you roll down and that puts the car in drive. To put the car in park, you just press here. See if we can get it both so you can watch it over there. There, now we're in park. And reverse the same thing. Pull in toward you and then click up. And now we're on reverse. So you can see, let me see if I can demonstrate the backup sensor. The... Gotta close the door, hang on a second. I'm trying to do too many things at the same time. I wanna show you the uh, parking sensors, they're really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, let's drive off here. Let's put it in reverse. And I want you to keep an eye on this here. Uh, and make sure to back up. Okay, and you're gonna get the sensors. They're gonna start telling you uh, proximity to uh, another vehicle or object. Okay, there you go. So letting us know, you see how there? We're backing onto another car behind us over there. And it's let us know that we're about to hit something back there. And it starts, it goes from green, it probably changes color to where we're just about to hit it. See, now it's yellow, and then eventually it become red because we're just that close to it, see? And it's also the same for the front. Let's try the front here. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna go ahead and turn towards that pole there. See it? Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's back it down. And let's let's go front toward that um to that red car over there. All right, you'll see it here eventually coming on in the front of the car. There we go. See it? And then it lets us know we're just about to hit it. Okay, that's enough of that. But just thought it's something really cool for you to see. One of the many options this car's got. This thing has so many options. I, the video would be too long for me to go over every one of them. I'm trying to go over the major ones. Uh, by the way, that noise you hear, it's uh, me turning the wheel. The floor in our in our in our shop is um, it's got like an oily base paint and uh, and that's what makes that noise. So it's just the tires rubbing against the ground. Okay, cup holders up here. Uh, like I said, I still have the massage going and the cool seats going. Uh, all the windows work. I'm not going to waste time on that. You got fog lights. This is to uh, this is to disable your parking sensors. That's what, what we're just looking at right now. Okay. Uh, you can disable them. That's in case you're towing a boat or something, or you're parking in a really tight spot. So I think this thing just keep it keep beeping the whole time and drive you crazy. Here's your slots for your CD. I've already shown you uh, the stereo. By the way, I put it down here under the mirror. This is your home leg. These three little buttons, and this is how you program your garage door or gate at your complex. Okay, uh, vanity mirrors that are lit on both sides, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it off and then let's move on to the, um, sorry, this is for the parking brake, I forgive me. This is to ena enable and disable the parking brake. For the parking sensors, we're down, it's down here. They both go with a P, so I get confused there. But this is to disable the parking sensors by pressing on there. See how, how it went away? Now I'm gonna press it again and it comes back on. And this is to engage and disengage the parking brake. So, forgive me for that. Okay, um, the rear view mirror has also um, a sensor there uh, for somebody put their uh, their high beams on you. It'll uh, it'll go ahead and uh, darken up a little bit so it doesn't blind you. Uh, we also have controls uh, for the headrest to move. They're they're down here. Okay, and the backrest also. Okay. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the to the back sitting part of the vehicle, and I'll just go back there, leave the car running, I guess. That way it keeps it nice and cool while I'm still shooting this video. Got wood trim all around the vehicle, not just around the dashboard, but also on the doors itself. 
And uh, the LI is a longer version, so when you come back here, I mean, it's just like if you're sitting in the front. Matter of fact, it's even more comfortable. Uh, look at all the legroom. I mean, the, the front seat's almost all the way back, and I'm nowhere near in the knees. And I can control and do everything that I want from back here. So let's go ahead, and we got the navigation screen there, but we can control the stereo from here as well. Okay, it's the same thing as in the front. All right, we got storage here. Um, got uh, map lights up here. Again, you can control. I can control my own. Uh, window from over here also my my vent shade I can control even the back one if I want to uh, from pressing I think you just gotta press here let's see yeah cool and then that curtain side airbag as I said runs down the whole side and uh, here's the other piece and this this curtain side back goes all along the side there uh, I guess also your own cigarette lighters back here and as I said uh, lots and lots of leg space here. Very comfortable back here. You know, see, this is. Uh, I think I'd rather just go in the back and have somebody drive me around. <laughs> um, okay, let's go ahead and turn off the car. By the way, it's very clean inside. I don't know if I've done so, but let me go ahead and pan over the interior here. Uh, it's got also courtesy lighting here, so you can see yourself uh, when you get in the back. The seats are in immaculate condition. No burn holes, no cuts, no tears. I mean, it's really, really, really clean. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and panel with the driver's seat, which is going to be the one with the most wear, and you'll see that it's also very, very clean itself, too. Okay. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no discoloration, nothing like that. Let's go on to the right rear. See if we can open the trunk while the car is running and show you the power trunk. Okay. Lots of space in the trunk. Got your tools back here and your power trunk here. No damage whatsoever anywhere. All the headlights and tail lights are nice and clean. They're, they're, they don't have any cracks or scuffs. They're nice and clean. They're not hazy or faded. <clears throat> Roof is in perfect condition. No damage whatsoever. Come around here to the front. We'll open up the doors on the, on the passenger side so you can see in there. Again, uh, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays. Okay, right front door. Panel over the passenger front seat here so you can see it's nice and clean. No tears, no color, no... No burn holes, no discoloration whatsoever, nice and clean. Uh, dashboard also in perfect shape, no cracks, no, um, it's not lifting up anywhere. Tina windows all around, of course. Right rear door panel. This vehicle is equipped with uh, child lock protection. All you gotta do is flick the switch and that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you got kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside, the only handle that will operate is the outside handle once you engage it. To disengage it, it's the same way. Just press it back the opposite way, and then this handle will start to work again. And same thing, you can control the rear shade and the side shades right from the switch over here. Panel over the rear seating area here. Just so you know, in case you have kids, uh, just like any other car, it's got your baby anchors in here, so you can tie down your baby car seat, okay? All right, that's going to do it for the video in this car. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to call me. My name is George, 305-218-5462. We have uh, excellent rates for financing available if you have good credit. If your credit is not so good, we also got uh, special financing. And if you live a long distance away and you're concerned about whether you can get approved or not for the financing, uh, just go to the website. Right on the home page, you'll see um, a silver tab that says apply for credit. Fill it out completely. Uh, click submit at the bottom of the page and give me a call. Let me know that you have uh, uh, filled out the application so that way we can get you pre-approved. Again, thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.